good evening dear students hope everyone is safe at home uh, today's topic is regarding it's a second part of uh, the methods of manu ice cream manufacturing today's topic is additives and preservatives used in ice cream manufacturing in today's topic we will discuss what are the different uh, preservatives and additives used as ice cream moves down the scale from premium getting lower in fat and incorporating more air ingredients are added to make up for the loss of creamy texture rich mouth feel and to help keep all the extra air whipped up emulsifiers such as the monoglyceride glycerol monoacrylate and related deglycerides help to keep the milk fat in suspension and limit the growth of ice crystals other emulsifiers such as lecithin and polysorbate 80 perform similar functions emulsifiers have a significant effect on making the fat globules stick together in chains rather than flowing together in larger glo globules or staying separate separated as tiny ones this adds to the structure of the ice cream and affects the texture and the ability to incorporate air into the mixture gums such as guar gum locust bean gum xanthan gum carignan and methyl cellulose help to prevent ice crystals from forming during freezing and refreezing after trip from the grocery store they also have a mouth feel similar to milk fat so the milk fat is not missed as much in the low fat ice cream like emulsifiers they also aid in keeping the air whipped into the mix gums keep the ice cream from becoming grainy due to crystal forming from either ice or lactose some ice cream contains sodium citrate to decrease the tendency of fat globules to coalesce and to decrease protein aggregation this result in a wetter ice cream sorry this results in a wetter ice cream the citrates and phosphates are both used for this effect calcium and magnesium salts have the opposite effect making a drier ice cream now we will discuss uh, a list of ice cream additives with a little brief description okay uh most of these have been given an approval from the fda uh to be put in the food and interest and uh, food in the interest of enriching the food processing corporations okay uh butair butair aldehyde is a derivative of butane used in manufacturing plasticizers alcohol solvents and polymers it has an almond like smell and is used to make flavors amyl acetate more often called banana oil is used as a flavoring agent it is also a paint and lacquer solvent and is used in the preparation of penicillin methyl glycol is used in the production of polyester resin and plasticizer and is a paint solvent in ice cream it is used as a cheap substitute for eggs to thicken the product aldehyde C17 is an inflammable liquid used in dyes plastics rubber and as a food flavoring piperonal is used in place of vanilla as a cheap substitute though interestingly it is a natural substance that comes from the vanilla bean it is listed in the national uh, medicine hsbd database as a uh, human skin irritant also used in a lot of medicines and all that okay uh, ethyl acetate is a solvent in coatings and inks and is used for the extraction of fatty materials during food processing it is also used to create a pineapple flavor monoglycerides diglycerides and triglycerides all three substances are composed of fatty acids and all may contain trans fat when those fatty acids are subjected to high heat processing disodium phosphate the msds is rather useless apparently not much, much much is known about the chemical other than it's slightly uh slightly different it's not actually used not 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 lot of people use this kind of a uh, additive
benzyl acetate it is used in soaps detergents incense oil lacquers polishes printing inks and as a solvent in plastic and resins it is also used in food flavor monosterates are considered of low toxicity but toxic nonetheless Pro propylene propylene glycol the atsdr it is a synthetic liquid that absorbs water and is used in foods to absorb extra water and maintain moisture it is a solvent for food colors and flavors sodium benzoate benzoate has the ability to deprive cells of oxygen to break down the immune system and okay it is actually the sodium salt of benzoic acid and known to be a carcinogenic polysorbate 80 is used in ice cream to resist melting so while we get to enjoying ice cream that takes longer to become a drippy mess this chemical is working to suppress our immune system it potassium sorbate is used as a preservative to inhibit the growth of yeast and molds therefore increases shelf life modified corn starch all modified food starches have been treated with an acid in order to lower their viscosity modified corn starch often contains about 10% maltodextrin a common keyword used by industry to hide the presence of msg soy lecithin the biggest uh, ingredient is that most of the world's soybeans have been genetically genetically modified which in itself possesses many uh, flavors when it comes to the process used to ma manufacture soy lecithin it is usually confined to unfer unfermented soy sauces so soy sauces because it becomes cheaper and quicker to make Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. Good night.